Welcome to the Cox Business Activation Tutorial for Microsoft Teams Integration. This tutorial focuses on the steps needed to integrate your IP Centrex services with Microsoft Teams. We'll walk you step by step through the process to set up the Microsoft Teams integration portal so that users can have their IP Centrex telephone number integrated to their Teams user. Please note that this tutorial is only intended for Cox My Account users with administrator permissions. Let's start with a quick review of what you'll need as the administrator to successfully complete activations. If you don't have all of the items listed, you should contact your IT department, reseller, or systems integrator to obtain this information. It won't be possible to complete the activations without all of the information. To get started, you'll need to purchase and install an IP Centrex package as well as Teams licensing for each user. You must also have placed a Microsoft Teams integration order for each user, and you will need the resulting activation email that was sent to the administrator. Note, now is the right time to disable any pop-up blocker in a modern internet browser. This email is valid for four days. If you haven't received the email, or if your email has expired, click on the Cox My Account landing page for Microsoft Teams integration and press the Resend Email button. Finally, you will need Teams Global Admin credentials and administrative privileges for Cox My Account. If you do not have Teams Global Admin credentials, contact your Teams integrator for support. Okay, let's get started with the step-by-step -step activation instructions. To make the tutorial a little easier to follow, we've created a fictitious company, Star Partners in Atlanta. They have Cox IP Centrex professional seats and Microsoft Teams deployed. They just ordered Microsoft Teams integration. Since Star Partners purchased Microsoft Teams integration, Cox routed an activation email, like the one shown, to the primary administrator. Click Accept Invitation in the email. Once you click the Accept Invitation link, you will need to enter your Teams username and password. Since this is your first login, for security reasons, you'll also receive a permissions request. Simply click Accept to continue to the Teams integration portal. You may see other login screens during this processing. Once you have successfully navigated these steps, you'll be directed to the user screen within the portal. At the top of the screen, notice that you are placed in the portal at the Star Partners top level parent account. Click Customer Portal for the child account to administer next. After clicking, you will see the Users section of the child account. Let's move ahead. Next, you'll create a unique name for each one of your child accounts, called the Tenant Configuration Prefix. To enter the prefix requires several simple steps. First, click on Services from the top navigation menu. Next, click the Teams tab. Click the drop-down for Show Advanced Options. Then, click the Unlock icon. It looks like a padlock next to the Tenant Config prefix. Now, you can enter a unique name for your site. We suggest using your company name followed by a unique site name. For example, for our customer, Star Partners, we'll use Star Partners Atlanta South as the tenant configuration prefix. Of note, the field requires alpha characters. Don't use spaces or numbers. If you create multiple accounts, each prefix must be unique. Once you have entered a prefix, click Enable Service. You'll now be prompted for your Teams Global Admin credentials. Enter your Global Admin username and password. Typically, Global Administrators will have multi-factor authentication enabled and will be prompted to validate their login. Next, the platform will sync automatically to Microsoft. If syncing is delayed, you can press the Sync Now blue button at the top of the screen. The Teams integration portal will now retrieve Teams users from Microsoft. The portal will display status information while the platform syncs. This typically takes 15 minutes or longer, depending on the size of the activation. You may want to pause the video now until syncing completes. After syncing completes, you will view an updated Sync Now button displaying a green check mark near the top of the screen. Next, 
use the top navigation menu to select the user screen. Look for the desired 10-digit phone number in the SIP user field. Click on the arrow associated to that phone number. Ignore any informational messages shown during this step. Select a user from the drop-down menu that you want to associate with the Cox phone number. Next, type this user's 10-digit phone number into the phone number field next to the team's username. Click the Save button at the bottom right. Repeat these steps for each user. Scroll down to find another unattached user at the bottom of the screen and continue to associate users and phone numbers. Once all users have been associated and saved, click the Sync Now blue button at the top of the screen. During the step, you may be prompted again to enter the Teams Global Admin username. Now, the system will integrate the Cox telephone numbers to the Teams users. The portal will complete the user setup during this processing, and this can take up to 15 or more minutes. After syncing, you may need to refresh the screen to complete this step. Now, check the radio button in the registration column to verify that a user has been successfully configured. If so, the radio button is green. Once synchronization is complete, the system is ready and the user will see a phone icon in their team's client. Click the icon to open the dial pad. To test outbound calling from teams, enter a phone number and click the call button. To test inbound calls to Teams from a mobile device, place a call to an integrated Cox telephone number. The call will ring the Teams client and any IP Centrex phones or devices. When calls are successfully placed and received, activation is complete. To learn more about Microsoft Teams integration, visit our support website at coxbusiness.com slash start here. Here, you'll find additional resources such as the Quick Start Guide and Quick Reference Guide. Thank you for being a valued Cox Business customer.